And welcome back to more Ninja Gaiden with Chapter 16, The Fiendish Awakening. All events thus far have led up to one place, the depths of the Palace of Zarkon. Will Ryu be able to discover the path inside? Which chapter are we on? 16. 16! Of 19. You, you're not gonna say it? <laughs> hey look, bats. There we go. <laughs> now this playthrough is blessed. <laughs> you know what? I need more. Yellow essence. The corpse of a ninja killed before he was able to complete his mission. He is holding something. Complete map of the Vigoran underground. And Sans diary. <laughs> January 30th. I have gathered some new information. According to the ancient legends of this place. He who offers the lost stone tablet to the twin serpents may gain entrance to Zarkon. <laughs> the tablets, uh, now apparently split into three pieces, is said to have been scattered throughout Vigor. I was able to locate, learn the locations of these piece of the pieces. One is at the twin serpents plaza in Tauron. One is in the archives in the monastery. One is near the stone circle in the magma cavern. I must gather the fragments and then begin my approach to Zarkon. February 5th, I'm hungry. <laughs> it, it is, it's Sans Diary. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> Life of the cows. <sighs> oh, what should I save over? Uh, save over you. Right. Right. Excuse me. Oh, um. It's time to kill some brain bugs. You guys think you're so smart with your giant, sick looking brains. Well, they're not! <laughs> Mother of brain bugs! <laughs> Not even sure how many of these there are. There sure are a lot of them, though. Jeez! They're as plentiful as bats! But they're a lot harder to kill. Uh. Oh, there's so many! Ow. Thankfully, they're pretty reliable source of uh, blue essence. This place has me running up the walls! Take this. Yeah, 
Hopefully you can get arrows back from that guy. Huh. Hey, remember this door? You might remember it more now that I'm here. We're back in the poorly spelled aqueduct. Poorly spelled aqueduct. <laughs> Thank you. How am I doing with essence? Is the essence of the problem. There are no new golden scarabs for me to get in this chapter, though I could go back for some of the ones that I have actually missed. Are you going to? I might, but I can't get all of them because one of the ones I missed was on the blimp, and that's a place I can't go back to. Oh, you also can't return to the uh, military complex either. Oh, jeez. Hey, I just hopped up there. Now I gotta hop down? Ah. Here, let me... Oh, you! <laughs> let me help you up and then down! There was just a green blob where his head was supposed to be... <laughs> Go away, go away, go away, right hair. <laughs> I like the way he, his corpse fell off. Eh, right hair. He ain't so bright. <laughs> Unlike his hair. <laughs> this is like, spam your heads off, spam your heads off! Ow. Hey, where did your head come off? Curses! Ah, take on it. There it goes! Oof. Oh, that could have gone better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least I have a few flying uh, health packs. Oh, cinematic. Where is Ryu? He's wandering around here somewhere, my excellency. Who knows what he's up to? And the Dark Dragon? To put it simply, it seems that the Dark Dragon, now free of its seal, is gradually absorbing the chaos of the battlefield and becoming a truly evil blade. It is not surprising that we did not know its true capacity, as the ancients were so careful to conceal it. Now, it's a weapon of extraordinary power, the likes of which have never been seen throughout human history. Whoever possesses it... Do I sense greed in your voice? Of course not, Excellency. Good. That is wise. You will be rewarded handsomely, I assure you. I haven't seen her in, like, forever. <laughs> you actually play as her in, uh... Sigma 2 and what is technically Sigma 3. Yeah. They never made a Sigma version of the third 3D game, but they did make a version called Razor's Edge, which a lot of people are like, that might as well have been Sig you know, Sigma 3. Yeah. <laughs> they just didn't feel like calling it Sigma. Well, all the games that have Sigma in the title have only appeared on PlayStation platforms. Huh. I don't know why that is, but it is. I wonder if we'll ever see another Ninja Gaiden game. Uh. Hey, Tecmo, port these to the Switch. <laughs> Dang, Tecmo is too busy making a billion... Uh... Dynasty Warriors related games. Uh, dead or alive, I guess. Smoke! Smoke game! Some 
somebody slash me! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I was watching a, a, an animation that Roger did. Okay. And it was, uh, an animation about the Sonic movie. Oh. <laughs> and he actually has Robotnik act like Ace Ventura. <laughs> that, okay, yeah, that's... That's kind of what we all expected. <laughs> and to be fair, it is kind of what we got. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, Eggman's always been a little, um... Unhinged. <laughs> okay, um... You know how we've, we've uh, joked about Gavmov? That one guy in the green trench coat kind of looking like the shopkeeper from the uh, N64 Castlevania games. Well, that's not the only thing in this game that's weirdly reminiscent of those games. Don't worry, this isn't the full sequence battle of these guys. I'm just trying to get some yellow essence. Gotta get that yellow essence. That's because it's your currency in this game. I don't know why they didn't just go with, like, actual currency, but okay. Then again, I'm talking about a game where I spend it at mystical statues that somehow link to the guy's shop. So, do you see any door... <laughs> this is, I guess, kind of random question, but, uh... Do you see any doors opening in Devil May Cry 4? No. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> That's another thing this game weirdly has in common with the N64 games I mentioned. Seems like, uh... The Devil May Cry team... Or teams, I guess... Really don't like... <laughs> we don't show doors opening! What are you, insane?! That's way too much work! Meanwhile, the Ninja Gaiden team's like, allow us to introduce ourselves. <laughs> we show all doors opening. We have an animation for all doors opening because it's not that hard. <laughs> I just wanted him to just keep doing that, like, forever. WHEN WILL THIS END?! Huh! 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 Uh, on it. Why did... I don't usually miss that jump, but... Sometimes that happens. I wonder if we could, like, loop that. <laughs> Make it look infinite. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Hmm. But, can you really make it look infinite without the Phantom Ruby? <laughs> you're gonna- you're gonna love where one of these mist scarabs are. <laughs> it's right... here. Oh, wow. How did I not- Right next to the save statue? Uh-huh. <laughs> That, that, that made the re-edit I had to do for episode 12 really easy. I just loaded my save from that statue, walked behind it, grabbed it, and was like, Okay, got the footage I need. Uh, I wish I had grabbed that one. Well, then again, because I'm missing one from the frickin' blimp, I can't get all 50. The best I can do is 49. 49! 49! Is 
<laughs> you made the area tech show. I will kill you. <laughs> Jump around, jump around. Ow! Not you! Heads or tails! Looks like tails for you! <laughs> Ooh! I almost got enough to upgrade the wooden sword again. It's the most expensive weapon to upgrade. Keep saving over other files. <laughs> this way, if anything happens to the recording and I need to redo the recording, or if I just need to redo a part of the recording, if if like ninety percent of it is good and there's only ten percent of it that's bad, I can just reload a file from a certain point and just start from there. Wow. You know. <laughs> They move through the shit. Okay, you know what? That reminds me of one of the stupidest things. And there are a lot of stupid things in the never ending story too, but definitely one of the stupidest things that's said in the never ending story too. They moved at the speed of darkness, which is much much faster than the speed of light. <laughs> um Dar darkness doesn't have a speed. <laughs> it, what, 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 it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it's such a stupid line. It's, it's just a shame that they didn't actually do the second half of the never ending story, like in the sequel. Because the second half was actually that story. I've never read it, but I've heard what happens, and oh my gosh, it's really an interesting idea. <laughs> Does anyone care about never ending story, the book spoilers? Because I'm about to spoil it. I mean, it's like only decades old. <laughs> Anyway, if you care I about... I didn't even know it was a book. Yeah. If anyone cares about that, I'm just gonna say this as fast as possible. Basically, uh, the main character gets the... <laughs> he just goes out of his mind and just starts fucking with the world of the never-ending story and just, like, making it a massive adventure for him. And he even ends up fighting one of the good guys at the end and severely wounding him. And it's like... Jeez! Why couldn't we see this in the movie? This is awesome! <laughs> really interesting idea. Anyway, this ends Never Ending Story Book Spoilers, if anyone cares. <laughs> they look like a bunch of meat bags. That's because they are! Ow! Sheesh. Dang! Seems... You just chopped his head off and then flung his body into a wall. Into a wall. Oh, yeah, I mean, as you do. <laughs> what? What? Heads up! And then... This one... I could have gotten this in Chapter 6, but I went this way in Chapter 7. Oh, gosh. Man, these are... Very easy to get to. When you're going down this way, you don't even see the glow of the of the scarab in that little corner there. Wow. Wow. Eh. Save over you. <laughs> Oh, I should, um, change my weapon. 
You'll see why. Oh, all the military vehicles by this point have left, so any passages they were blocking are now accessible. Mm. Yeah. Draw a bridge, draw a bridge, draw the bridge. Hey, remember those zombie enemies from underground? Yeah. Well, these are like them. They act exactly the same, except one key difference. They're immune to my windmill shuriken. <gasps> no! I can't cheat the fuck out of them. Wow, the music got really desperate all of a sudden. It's like, damn, 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 damn. They also tend to be pretty immune to uh, my swallow dive move. They still have wind, and they still have wind up that makes Devil May Cry enemies blush. <laughs> <clears throat> Though, it's funny you brought that up because I was thinking of those mummy guys in their little Oof. spin move. Ow! Damn Jeez, it! Jeez, that hurt! <laughs> Finally, one goes down. Ah! Jeez! Well, that took forever. Well, I get... A talisman of rebirth for my troubles. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> Even though I'm wearing this face mask, I went to cover my mouth and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also have hand sanitizer with me. Hmm. Just in case that does anything. Just in case that does anything. I love that move. <laughs> oh, got more health back. Thank, f thank you. Oh, I'm doing really well in Yellow Essence. Although I might have to spend some of that on potions. Here they come. The best thing about that move isn't so much the damage it does to the target, but when you land, you can hit other enemies with it. Mm-hmm. Open up, open up. There it goes. Third, three times the charm. <laughs> I don't know how you're hitting me. Uh, okay, thank you for unpausing, game. Thanks for the unpause. Yeah, I might need some advice. Welcome! You're still open? Do you think I would close up shop over something like this? What can I help you with? 
I've been wondering, what is that sword you are using? Ah, let me see. Ah, this is a fine example of one of the swords of the dragon, carved out of a dragon's fang. It has the potential for unfathomable spirit power, but this sword alone will not do. There is a place to fit a jewel here, you see? A curved jewel carved out of a dragon's eye. With it in the right hands, this sword will prove more than a match for the Dark Dragon Blade. The Dark Dragon? <laughs> of course I know of it. I have seen and heard of all manner of swords, both ancient and new, from east and from west. Now, if only we can find the dragon's eye. It is possible to not get that scene if you don't go. You, you can completely skip that scene, but I like... I like that. So. Jewel of the Demon Seal. Ooh. I am trying to save up to... Oh, God. Jeez. You know what? I might as well just... Uh... Ugh. It pains me to do that, but... It felt necessary. <laughs> Thankfully, those guys don't come back. Oh, that's good. Well, they do if I go through here and then... Go back? Yeah. Which is why... These guys are back. Yeah, you shouldn't have dashed right under me while I was doing that, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> when speed gets you killed. Almost sounds like a drug PSA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speed kills you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Now loading. Yeah, there's no enemies here. There's no enemies through there. I I really gave this chapter a run through to make sure I wasn't missing anything and to also make sure that uh, I didn't miss any like large battle sequence things or whatever. There's really not a whole lot to this chapter. Huh. Which is part of the reason I spent my time going after Golden Scarabs I missed. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of using the light suit to warp in Metroid Prime 2. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Oh, you know another thing this game has in common with, um, <coughs> with the N64 Castlevanias? What? Think of all the doors that I came to where it's like, oh, uh, it's locked from the other side. And then I come back through the other side and unlock it. Huh. It was a common thing in the N64 castle fleet, especially um, in the villa. So, remember the shrine maiden that died in the second chapter? Yeah. That's the jewel she wore around her neck. That's her grave. If only I had come to Vigor with this from the start! 
the Dark Dragon Blade, which looks nothing like the Dragon Blade I'm carrying, yeah. is resonating. Oh, speaking of uh, the N64 Castlevania, remember in Legacy of Darkness when my whip was at full power and it glowed? Yeah. Well, look at my sword. <laughs> it's almost the same effect. Yeah. Hey, remember that time we powered up the Master Sword in Wind Waker and it had, like, no effect on regular gameplay? Yeah, well, that's not this. This is the true Dragon Sword. Which, by the way, getting that jewel automatically brings it up to level 3 without me having to do anything. Hmm. And level 4. Ooh, level 4. The legendary ultimate form of the Dragon Sword, achieved by fitting the Dragon's Eye into it. One other place that you can't go back to is the area beyond here. So the life of God, the life of the gods that I found in that area that I normally don't find, I was fortunate enough to get that. Because huh. otherwise, I could have missed it forever. Well, I haven't seen you guys in. Well, Ryu hasn't seen you guys in a while. Yeah. Slashy, slashy! It's like... You guys are still here? Ow! That's a lot of enemies! Damn. Oh, you stop that! It's why they give you the counterattack in the chapter where these guys first appear. <laughs> Thankfully, they are still very prone to dropping blue essence. I said to use the... that! Thankfully, there's my strong bow. Oh, nice. some free stuff. Well, I guess it's not free if you're spending arrows. Unfortunately, the body that was here littered with arrows where I could get free refills is gone. Damn it! Oh, lot of arrows. Doin, I'm all out of arrows. This little arrow went to market. This little arrow. <laughs> I ran out of arrows. <sighs> Hello, birds. <laughs> bye bye, birdies. Yeah, all the corpses are gone. 
Oh yes, I guess I'll announce something interesting that's happening. Uh, we're getting cats! M m more cats. Two more cats. Uh, the... Just like I have two more jewels of the demon seal. Yes! It relates! It... No way. <laughs> Chloe. Uh. And here we go. If they wanted to let you get back to the military complex, they could have just made this into like a fast travel system at this point, but they didn't do that. Hmm. And then I go through that, so that I can unlock this door, so I can go through here, so I can do this. <laughs> Just so... I can get here. <laughs> Save point. It's like, what was the point of that? <laughs> go through that door to get to this door, the portal of the, the door. Like, uh, okay. <sighs> now saving oh there's Rachel who's been captured after her last chapter okay I'm not I can't be the only one who's seen this scene and started thinking dirty thoughts <laughs> I mean Seriously, Team Ninja. With your own flesh blood to sacrifice, receive now. have a new form, but I have the true dragon sword now. I'd say don't lose your head over it, but I can see it's already gone, most of it. Eh, half. Ow. Ow. When she charges up that late... She's actually vulnerable when she charges that. Huh. Um. Hello? I said to do. Like this! She ran into the flame barrier that my technique creates. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to do the swallow dive, but he's not doing it. Oh, now he does it. Oh gosh, she's using the force. Or telekinesis. Out of the sky with you. Ow. When she charges that move up, she's not going to dodge. 
and you can, like, swat her out of the sky. But your timing has to be impeccable. Ow. I couldn't see! Stupid pillar got in the way. Finally, it's damage. Nice. Oh, speaking of which, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to equip the thing that increases my damage. Okay. It's a hit! What is she doing? Pillars! I hate that move. I hate bouncing off of her! What the hell? I charged it too late. I know an easy way of, well not really easy, but I know a way of hitting her when she's vulnerable. Yes, but... go, go, go! <sighs> He's not doing the proper attack. What? That's usually when she's open. Get off of me! You ready? Then it's a hit! She's much farther away than I realize. And boom! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna blame that on my lack of sleep. a bad performance. Now the time of the awakening is truly at hand. Run, 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 Well, that's a spirit sword if I've ever seen one. Literally. Boom. Light explosion! It's just a light explosion. <laughs> this is not over. I mean, I could have actually hit you with that, but I'll throw it in the ground instead. I don't know what to do to get a higher rank in this chapter. Huh. Like, I don't know what the game wants from me. Does it want me to just wander around aimlessly killing a bunch of guys? I don't know, but it wants you to sit and roll over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like, this, this is one of those chapters where it's like, what did I do wrong? Ugh. Anyways... See you guys in the next episode.